And what are your plans for this glorious three-day weekend? Well, today I'm taking Lucas and Abby to the museum for the 16th century wood carving exhibit. We're being punished? Why do you think that's a punishment? Because it hurts. <laughs> and Sunday I'm taking them to the mall to do some serious window shopping. With my mom and my little brother? If my friends see me, they'll lock me out of school. That's ridiculous. Tell Cindy Gilroy. I hear she lives on a farm now. Good morning, blood relatives. Uh, Matt, is that a shirt or did Don Ho throw up on you? <laughs> it's my happy shirt. Walter and I are going to live it up this weekend and travel as far as our savings will take us. Oh, burgers and beach chairs in the driveway again. <laughs> Beats my weekend. I'll be at the mall with Mom and Lucas. Boy, that's going to kill you at school. <laughs> Fine. Forget the mall. Forget the museum. If it's so important for them not to be seen with their mother, I'll just stop planning three-day weekends with my children. No matter how much I love them. Hear that? We're free! <laughs> Come on in, buddy. Hey, Matt. Morning, Vanessa. Morning, Mrs. Bailey. Oh, hi, Walter. How's Triggs? What? No reaction to the shirt? I think I'm getting a rash. Does that count? Matt, hang on to your flip-flops. I bring news so big it could change both of our lives. Well, come on, Vanessa. These boys obviously have things they want to talk about. It. And relax. You'll figure out something to do with the kids. Maybe, if I'm willing to wear a bag over my head. <laughs> Mom, you still have the one she wore in high school? <laughs> so, what is this news that's going to change my life forever? Okay. You remember my cousin Harold in the travel business? I thought Harold was in hardware. So he's diversified. The point is, he came through with two plane tickets to the paradise haven of love. Do what? It's a new singles resort. It's a private island off the coast of Baja. So, in two hours, it is adios, blacktop barbecue, and hola, babes in Toyland. I can't afford that. It's free. I can afford that. Now, by tonight, you and I are going to be doing the tango in the tropics. One at a time, ladies, please. One at a time. All right, I'll make an exception for the twins. Come on. Wait a minute. There's a catch. What is the catch? Strictly minor, strictly minor. My cousin said that because it's a special deal, we may have to, you know, make our own beds and stack our own beach chairs. Oh, well, that blows it for me. <laughs> so, uh, hey, where, where are our return tickets? We pick them up down there. You think that's smart? Yeah, you're right. Would hate to get stranded on the paradise haven of love! <laughs> If you do, I got dibs on both the twins. <laughs> there you are. We were starting to worry. Oh, well, there was a mix-up at the landing strip. We couldn't find our limo, so we just took a cab. The limo? Hey, these are funny guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. I'm Matt Bailey. It's my pal, Walter Peters. I know who you are. He knows who we are. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Vic Paradise, owner of everything on the island, including the island. Owner. Does my cousin have pull or does my cousin have pull? Vic, buddy, this vacation could not have come at a... Stop talking. I beg your pardon? Boys, boys. Obviously, you've been misinformed. See, you're not here on vacation. You're here to work. You start by digging the barbecue pit. Oh. And welcome. <laughs>
You expect us to work here? This is some kind of joke, right? Exactly what were you told? Obviously not enough. <laughs> you get a free ride to paradise, you earn your keep. Laundry, mopping. Oh, you guys do know how to slaughter a pig, don't you? <laughs> we did not come down here to, to dig a hole and off a pig. We came here to meet women. You got it. The ladies land in an hour. I expect you to entertain them. Okay, well, now you're talking, so it's a work-play kind of thing. Absolutely. You mingle, you romance, you act spontaneous with whoever I tell you. You can't make us do that. <laughs> you amuse Paco and Frog. <laughs> Paco and Frog? What kind of a place is this? Allow me to explain the Vic Paradise program. See, at most singles resorts, you got three female guests for every male guest. Only here, at the Vic Paradise Haven of Love, are the ladies assured of a one-to-one -one ratio. My money-back guarantee states that there will be a lid for every pot. <laughs> Consequently, I find it necessary to supplement my male guests with some imported talent. To solve the mind, so to speak. So there's more here like us? A sprinkle here, a sprinkle there, and I'm so happy I can practically skip my medication. <laughs> So you expect us to entertain while we're up to our butts in manual labor? No, no. You can't let the ladies know you're employees. You don't even use your real names. All right, this is nuts. We want to return tickets. All in good time, boys. Relax. One weekend. That's all I ask. Because technically, I ain't asking. <laughs> <clears throat> it is just a couple of days, and we saw the hotel. I bet the rooms are beautiful. They are. You won't be in one. Did you see the private cabanas on the beach? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're nice. You bet. Well, you go past those, follow the drain pipe, hang a Yui at the porta potty and look for your hut. Our hut? So unpack, relax, but hurry back. You got stuff to do. Boy, I'll tell you, this just keeps getting better and better. I don't know, it's kind of cramped. Of course it's cramped, it's a hut! Then why do you feel you have to shout to be heard? Oh, we may have to make our own beds and stack our own beach chairs. Did you forget the part about slaughtering livestock, or was I just supposed to assume? Come on, what's so bad? So the guy wants us to socialize. That's what we came here for, right? Not on his terms. Oh, his terms are terms. I don't know about you, but when it comes to meeting women, I can work on virtually any terms. Well, me too, but... So, we have two choices here. We can either entertain some very lucky females, or we can sit around and whine like a couple of weenies. Entertaining's good. That's a spirit. Yeah. Ain't no Vic Paradise gonna get us down. No way. We're here to party. You are correct, sir. Now, come on. Let's go dig the man a pig pit. <laughs> ah, gentlemen. Nice job on the pit. We couldn't bring ourselves to kill the pig. It's all right. Frog's got a real flair for that kind of work. <laughs> now, go on. Mingle. And remember, keep the ladies happy, you keep me happy. Keep me happy, and no one has to get anything crushed. Go. Enjoy. Well, this doesn't look so bad. No, and the view's getting better and better. <laughs> Not that one. She'll get plenty of attention on her own. In fact, Frog, send her a bottle of champagne from me. <laughs> See? As for you two, ladies, meet uh, Bill Winston and Tony Caputo. I just know you're going to hit it off. Caputo, I like you. Helen Coolidge. Uh, Enough small talk. It's party time. <laughs> I'm Eleanor from Minnesota. You're Bill? Actually, I'm from California. <laughs> wow. California must be so exciting. Yeah, it's a miracle day out there. <laughs> I just answer the phone at a fire station. Well, that's an important job. It's a small town. Nothing burns. <laughs> I read a lot. Mostly romance novels. Matt, Matt. Do you like romance novels? I live for them. 
You remind me of Benjamin Broadsword. Remember? He saved Tamara from the evil Baron Wintergreen. <laughs> All right. Do you remember what happened next? Uh, they made wild, passionate love for the next hundred pages. <laughs> <laughs> you did read it! <laughs> this is so exciting. I just knew this trip would be worth every dime. Would you like a drink? Yes, something wild and dangerous, maybe even with an umbrella in it. Well, I'll scour this island till I find one, no matter how long it takes. Paco will get you drinks. All right, island revelers and revelettes. And is it just me, or is there an equal number of both by some happy coinky dink? <laughs> Hang on to your hats. It's time for our amateur night contest, and here are our first two volunteers. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is where I draw the line. Me, too. Same line. Boys, I know you don't want to let the lovely ladies down. To say nothing of disappointing Paco and Frog. Traveled in and out of doors. We're glad they came along. We dedicated a song. To all the girls we've loved before. To all the girls we've loved before. Gray Willie Nelson. Thanks, man. Who are you doing? Great chops, Caputo. Come on, I got a couple of special requests. <laughs> Bill, that was beautiful. Would you mind if we dance? Well, actually, I'd be crushed if we didn't. <laughs> Eleanor, the music ended a couple of minutes ago. I, I know, I just don't want any of this to end. Bill, I know we just met, but I feel there's something very special happening here. Eleanor, it's not as special as you think. It seemed crazy to scrimp and save for three little days on this island. It was crazy. No. I never thought I'd meet anyone who would make me feel this way. Me. Goofy Eleanor Hooper from Minnesota. Well, it's getting late. You're right. I'll see you in my dreams. Eleanor? Yes, Bill? Sleep well. Matt, Helen finally went to bed, but she swears when she wakes up we're going skinny dipping. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> hey, listen, Walter, we have nothing to complain about. We're not the real victims here. These women are. So far today, I've dug a pig pit, been renamed Caputo, and I got a goodnight hug that repositioned many of my internal organs. Now you tell me I'm not the victim those women are? Walter, they paid to come here and meet real people. And instead, who do they find? Us, a couple of glorified gigolos. Gigolo? Hey, that's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> nice work tonight, kid. I saw you. Sensitive. Caring. You played that hoopa stiff like an accordion. She's not a stiff, she's a nice girl. See? Sensitive. I love it. You got a little bonus coming. I wouldn't touch your money. What money? I just mean your buddy here gets to mop alone tonight. Don't forget to swap out the men's head. One of the pipes exploded. It's a uh, nasty business. <laughs> All right, that does it. We demand our return tickets now. Oh. Okay. Really? We can just go? Vaya con Dios. First thing, Monday night. That's two more days. Boys, how could I let you leave early? 
Well, it just so happens, Mr. Paradise, that Walter and I are newspaper reporters. We could write an article exposing this operation for the exploitive, sleazy, impossible criminal scam that it is. Yeah. Bless you, son. That is the kind of publicity that could get us through the rainy season. All right, forget about the article. If you don't refund every dime these women paid, we'll have you put up on fraud charges. Fraud? Well, you got me. Better check the island legal code. Let's see. The penalty here for fraud is a pina colada. <laughs> Do your duty, officer. But no little umbrella. I've been bad. <laughs> what are we going to do now? I'm thinking something. We'll be back. I know. You're going to milk the goats. <laughs> goats? At dawn. Oh. And a word to the wise. Don't turn your back on old dynamite. <laughs> Ow! Stupid splinter. God knows what kind of tropical cooties are coursing through my body right now. Well, maybe next vacation your lunatic cousin can set us up someplace a little more comfortable. Say, hell? <laughs> Walter, that's Eleanor. I don't care what you do. Just get her to leave, okay? I can't play this game anymore. You got it. <clears throat> Eleanor, come in! <laughs> My cousin may be a lunatic, but he is family. Ooh, cute little hut. Eleanor, we have to talk. How would we be able to hear over the beating of our hearts? Beating? I hear virtually no beating. Actually, a complete absence of beating more than anything else. <laughs> back and forth about whether to come looking for you or not. And then I said to myself, Toto, we're not in Minnesota anymore. Listen, Toto, I mean, <laughs> Eleanor, sit. I mean, <laughs> sit down. There's something I gotta tell you. I bet it's the same thing I gotta tell you. Ooh, the odds of that are very, very low. <laughs> I'm not an actual guest here. I'm more like a temporary employee. A what? Sort of like a, a paid escort. It's not like it sounds. Well, it sounds like a gigolo. Oh, then it is like it sounds. <laughs> so the dancing, the uh, attention, the uh, singing to me, that was just your job? Hey, listen, this Vic Paradise guy is a total sleazeball who took your money and my time, and there's more guys here like me. This whole place is a lie. And you just had to tell me about it, didn't you? Well, yeah. Thanks for shattering a perfect dream. Hey, I told you because I care. No one can live in a dream. You deserve something real. That real enough for you? Thing, telling Eleanor the deal here? I agreed with you two hours ago. Now go back to sleep. It's almost dawn and we got goats to milk. <laughs> Get up, Walter. We're going to see Mr. Vic Paradise. I'll take my chances with the goat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, listen, I can't live with the look on Eleanor's face when I told her she was being ripped off here. Yeah? Well, you should have seen the look on my face when Helen asked me to wear the Willie Nelson pigtails and headband again. <laughs> What's the big deal? You wore it for the song. Just the pigtails and headband. <laughs> What's that? A bunch of women heading towards the Paradise Room, carrying blunt instruments and chanting. Chanting what? I don't know. I couldn't make it out, but it sounds angry. Come on. Angry women with weapons? Ooh, I'm in. <laughs> Paco, fetch me a glass of milk. Nobody milked the goat yet. Well, get those two reporters on the ball. <laughs> Turn off that radio. This island music drives me buggy. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Ladies, now. ladies. You're a few hours early for breakfast, but I'm sure we can rustle something up. Some eggs, some bacon, some men. <laughs> We've got the scoop on your hired help. Go dance with the big one. She seems to be the ringleader. 
What's going on? When I told Helen about you gigolos, she grew concerned. <laughs> gigolos? This place is a lie. I believe we'll be taking advantage of your money back guarantee now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, boys. When I count three, we make a run for the helicopter pad. One, two, three. No! You've oppressed my people for too long. What people? You're from New Jersey. <laughs> you just can't leave that alone, can you? Those refunds will be in cash, Cupcake. And that airplane will be taken off first thing in the morning. Ladies, come on, you'll ruin me. <laughs> Fine, then we'll just have to stake you to that large scorpion nest down by old... Yeah. Yeah. I'll open the safe, I'll open the safe. Let's get going. Jersey boy, Jersey boy, Jersey boy. <laughs> what do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? You're not still mad at me for uh, shattering that perfect dream? No, I... I guess I should actually thank you. Me being with someone like you, that was a very ridiculous dream. Thanks for the wake-up call. You'll understand if I don't give you a tip. Frog, you were like a son to me. I'm Paco. Frog's the other guy. Give me a break. <laughs> really, I'm having a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'll even send you copies of the photos. Photos? You took photos? What did you think those bright flashes were? My dead relatives trying to get me to walk towards the light. <laughs> Eleanor, I can't leave it like this. Save it. It's not your fault that I'm plain and dull and that the only guy interested in me was on the clock. Hey, you are not plain or dull. Please, I'm stupid, boring little Eleanor who works at the fire station. Look, I don't even know who that is. The Eleanor that I met here is sweet and sensitive and real, and any guy would be lucky to meet her. Well, that's just crazy. I can't believe there isn't a guy you like back home. There's Bert from the engine company. He's nice. He has a snowmobile. <laughs> but he doesn't even notice me. And this is a man who slides down a pole for a living if you catch my drift. <laughs> How could he not notice somebody as passionate about romance as the woman who came to my hut last night? Oh, I don't act like that back home. I'll bet if you sent that Eleanor back to Minnesota, old Bert wouldn't know what hit him. You know, I bet he won't. <laughs> It'd be me, right? Yeah, it'd be you. Thanks, Bill. Oh, <laughs> it's not Bill, it's actually Matthew. Right, like I'm gonna believe a gigolo guy. <laughs> Matt, I want to make this whole vacation disaster up to you. You know what? Forget about it, pal. No, no, I insist. Look, my cousin Harold owns a piece of this floating casino. And the beauty part? It's a blimp. It's... <laughs> so that's a maybe? Home Free continues right after this.